How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan, and today I bring you an update on that video I did a little while ago relating to the trans woman who wrecked the GameStop. And when I say wrecked, I do mean wrecked. They went 1988 Iron Mike Tyson, God Super Saiyan, David Banner, Incredible Hulk, all that good stuff in the GameStop because they were misgendered a couple of times by accident by the actual clerk behind the counter and the random bystander who was trying to get the person, gentleman, lady, whatever you want to call themselves, to calm down, relax, and stop cussing. Now, before I get into the video, I will say that they have improved their outfit. Last time we saw this individual, they had on the Britney Spears fangirl 1998 style outfit. I wasn't really impressed. They may have hired a stylist. Them shoulders are still pretty broad. You looking like, you know what I mean, uh, <laughs> Brock Lesnar, Big Papa Pump, uh, the Miz, all these wrestlers combined into one with their hair and all that good stuff. But I don't want to go too far down that road. Let's go ahead and jump straight into the video to see what this person says. Are they going to double down? Are they going to apologize? What's really going on? Once again, ma'am. I said both of you. No, you said sir. Once again, it's ma'am. Well, this video from right here in New Mexico is going viral online. A transgender woman losing her cool when she says an employee at an Albuquerque video game store called her sir instead of ma'am. The video has been viewed more than a million times on YouTube over the last two weeks. And it's getting people talking. Lots of people have made fun of the woman for her outburst. Others say she did the right thing. By uh, it's a lot more than that. The outburst is one thing, but also the person's physical appearance. By defending her gender identity. Now only on four, she's telling her side of the story to Kai Porter. Excuse me, it's ma'am. It is ma'am. It's the video seen by millions. Tiffany Moore, a transgender woman who recently started her transition, yelling at an employee. Yeah, we, we can tell it's recent. We know this ain't been no long time in the making. You're talking about like just a couple of days ago. They decided, you know what, I want to be a woman now. No, no more will I be a bouncer at various nightclubs around the area. I'm going to be a woman. That, I think, was a thought process, but let's keep going. Inside this Albuquerque GameStop, Moore says the cashier repeatedly called her sir instead of the gender <laughs> pronoun she identifies with. While she was trying to return a game she bought for her son. Ma'am, once again. Wow, this person has a son? I mean, like, you know what? I don't even want to ask too many more questions about that. Let's just keep going. Ma'am, I said both of you. No, you said sir. Once again, it's ma'am. I actually said both of you guys. General. Right beforehand, you f***ing said sir. Sir? Okay. <laughs> Take it outside. You wouldn't call me sir. I mean, he was, it's like, the, the, the guy behind the counter is nervous. He was just, you know, what, what you want him to do? I will show you a f***ing sir. I apologize. I apologize now. I was so angry at that point because it, literally five or six times, he called me sir and got me so fuming and angry and I was cussing that. The internet responded to the viral clip with memes like Superman, Aquaman, and Macho Man, Tranny Savage. Tranny is a slang term for transgender that many find. Hey, 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 stop. Hey, look, look, y'all at the news station, what's this, KOB? <laughs> Yo, I, I didn't expect that. That kind of caught me off guard right there. Y'all are tripping. Y'all had to put the memes up there. You could have just said, oh, it was a bunch of, you know, online memes that surfaced. You didn't have to put the memes on the screen and make me have a conniption over here. Good grief. Defensive and derogatory. <laughs> What's really sad is it's, it's bringing so many bigots out of woodwork. Oh. But more, a local MC and rapper isn't letting the memes. Oh, that is him. Okay. Yeah. Look, somebody told me that this person was a rapper from Albuquerque and I was like nah that ain't them shout out to you you know you are in the comments I was like it looks like them but it ain't them if I can find that actual clip I'm gonna put that in here somewhere or at least in the box let's get to her she's using her newfound viral fame to raise awareness about the transgender community and she even wrote a song to get her message out there oh, we're humans just like you we're people just like you um we have kids we have parents we have brothers sisters aunts uncles cousins um, we're just trying to live. Yeah, my yes. <laughs> As for how Moore handled the situation inside the store with that expletive-filled outburst, and yeah, I could I could have reacted a whole lot better, but you know what? I I look back at it. If I could, I wouldn't change a single thing. I would do it a hundred thousand times again. I would kick over that display a hundred thousand times again <laughs> because my actions were justified. No, I mean, it was it was blatant and malicious hate. It was blatant and malicious misgendering. 
And we reached out to GameStop's corporate office for a statement. We'll let you know when we hear back. Kai Porter, KOB, Eyewitness News 4. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. That was just, I don't even know what to say. I'm going to speak to that today. I will say, like I said, a positive thing. They improved their outfit last time. I don't know if that was just a little store run outfit, but it definitely improved it. I, I want to know what made this person decide to transition. They have a son. They're very masculine. You see the tattoos and all that kind of they probably been to jail and some more stuff, and they were a rapper. So what made them transition from being like a family man to this? And I, I, I like to know the psychology behind that. Either way it goes, that's the the wrap up of the follow up. They were like, yeah, I'd have kicked it over. And don't say that it was intentional misgendering. Come on, man. Like, really. You know that you early on in your transition process, you're not at the Blair White level or the what's that one person's name that accused Morgan Freeman, uh, Janet Mock. I mean, this person, Janet Mock, was on some show talking about Morgan Freeman harassed her, which was BS anyway. But I'm looking at the person. I'm thinking it's a woman. I had no clue that that was a man. None whatsoever. My girl said, oh, that's a man. I was like, how can you? Like, I had no clue. But this individual right here, this Zer right here, I'm not fooled at all. I mean, I didn't even see the tattoos. Like, if I was to be in a person's presence, you got these big broad shoulders looking like you are a lumberjack. You could put, you know, a, a thousand bills of hay on your back and walk without any kind of assistance. You look really masculine. Your neck, look at your neck. I mean... Do you lift, sir? Ma'am, sorry, I don't want to mention nobody. I'm just saying. You're not at the level of some of the more convincing transgenders, okay? So until you get to that point, don't be upset when people misgender you. Take that as motivation. Be like, you know what? I keep getting called sir. I got to tighten up and, you know, get my voice together, get my body together, do all that kind of stuff. That should be motivation. No hate over here. Like I said, one of my uncles is a, a a drag queen, I guess you would say, you know, and when they dress up, you know, that that's their business. I don't rock with that. That's not my cup of tea. But if you want to do that, then that is your business. So I pretty much leave that right there. What do you guys think? Do you think that this person should have been more apologetic in this follow up here? I think so, because the guy behind the counter was not trying to be malicious I mean, you probably were nervous, has not really seen something like that before. Like, you're not a common person. If you appear to be a woman, then you will have no problem saying ma'am because, you know, it's, you're easily identifiable. But he's confused and he's scared. He's nervous. He doesn't want to get fired. He doesn't want to upset anybody. He's just trying to do his job. So don't put that on that man like he somehow maliciously misgender you, okay? And at a certain point, even if somebody is doing something wrong, in your opinion, don't mean you could just go off and do whatever you want to do. You got to always be in control of yourself. Um, gender pronoun redacted. I'll leave that right there. But am I right in my assertion of this? Am I wrong in my assertion of this? Whatever your comments are, please let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.